Tell me, tell me. It's good, motherfuckers. About to hop on the game really quick. It's 4.30 right now. I woke up like two hours ago. I've been going to bed at like 5 a.m. and waking up at like two o'clock. I've been doing that for like the past two weeks now. Because when I went to SAC to sleep in my friend's dorm, him and all his roommates would stay up till like five in the morning and they wouldn't wake up until like 1 p.m. in the afternoon. And I low-key, like I'm starting to do that now. It's, it was low-key a vibe, bro. Like nobody's up that late in the in the night. It's just you by yourself. Put some headphones on, light a fucking candle or something. Just clean the whole room, mm -hmm. even the top bunk. It's all clean, bruh. But basically, my brother is coming back from college for Christmas and shit. So I had to clean my room. He's gonna be sleeping right there, bruh. So you feel me? I gotta. This musty ass gonna be living with me now. So I have to share the room and shit. Also, I haven't shaved in like 10 days. I might fucking keep it going. You see? Maybe I'll shave and like, leave the mustache if I can grow it out. I might look kind of sexy low-key, bro. I just uh, organized the YouTube video for today, like how I'm going to say that shit, you feel me? I can't really film it right now because there's fucking annoying-ass motherfuckers in my living room watching movies hella loud, so I can't fucking do shit. Fucking pissing me off. I can't do shit in my own house. But uh, right now, I'm about, to, I'm about to hop on the game hella quick. Get a quick dub, and I got to go pick up my brother from the airport. Bro, I just found out I have fucking work tomorrow, bro. I have fucking work tomorrow, bro. But fucking, you know now it makes you shave. Like, they think you're a fucking slave that they can control, you feel me? So I guess I have to fucking, I have to shave, you feel me? I feel a little better, though. Just a little cleaner, you feel me? Right now, I just made my little soup. It looks nasty, but it's not, bro. It's chicken noodle soup. I look sexy as fuck, bruh. But let's get into the challenge, bruh. This was a 14 day drop jumping challenge. I explained it in my last video, but basically, I have 14 days to find a product, build a website, fucking make TikToks, post Instagram reels, and make sales and make money, bruh. All this in under 14 days. There's only two rules to this challenge. The first rule is that I have 14 days, that's a deadline. The second rule, is I can only spend ten dollars, and you feel me in that in the title I said ten dollars, but it's around like thirteen, fourteen dollars. You feel me? Who's gonna put thirteen dollars in a title? Ten is way cleaner, so I put ten. So let me give you a rundown. I explained it in the last video, but this is the product I'm using, a mini way. It's a fucking a little like protein pre workout holder. I still got shit in there probably. This is the product. How I found this product? Basically, just did the TikTok burner method. I made a burner account. I was scrolling TikTok, I was liking dropshipping accounts, and then I came across an account that had like 20K followers. Each video was getting like over 20K views, so I was like, bet, that's a product I can work with. And it's in the gym niche. I myself go to the gym, obviously, bruh. So it's like, okay, I can relate to like the gym, the gym niche people to get easy target for me to market to. So this is exactly how I spent $10, bruh. Eight of my $10 went to this product buying it on amazon and then one dollar was for shopify you got like a seven day free trial but it's like a dollar a month bro so one dollar for shopify i bought a domain on godaddy for three dollars so that's fucking eight more it's like 12 or 13 dollars in total up front 12 dollars. that's all you need to start bro 12 dollars is what i started with like that's all you need bro but yeah, that's basically the challenge. I basically have 14 days to run up this product, straight organic. So I have 14 days to run up this product, see how much money I can make. Day one officially started when this came in the mail to my house. Day one comes around, this shows up to my house. First thing I do is I start building the website. All right, was good. It's day one of the challenge. It's November 26th. Right now, I'm chilling, watching the Mexico-Argentina game. Um, I just started building my website and the product just came in today. So right now I'm just gonna work on the website, finish it up. After I'm done with the website, I'm gonna go film some videos with this, make some TikToks, and we can officially start the challenge. Cause I still need to make the TikTok account and I still need to make the Instagram account. The website's almost done, you feel me? Come on. Because this is only a 14 day challenge, I did not spend that much time on the website, bro. I just did it quick and easy. I got the basics done. I no need to make it way too complicated, especially when you're testing out a new product. There's no point in spending hours on the on the website if you don't even know you're gonna get sales or not. Like you're just testing out a product. So just make a simple website. Once you start getting more and more sales consistently, 
then that's when you can tweak up the website, make it look hella good, blah, 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 you know? But basically for this website, it's a gym product. The, gym, the product is like black and red and yellow, as you can see. I made my website black and red theme, like a black and red gym theme. Put a side by side right here, but you can see it's like a gym, it's like a dark gym vibe. After I built the website, I created the TikTok, I created the Instagram. That was the base of the challenge. So now I just needed to film videos. I went around my house, filmed videos. I went to the gym, filmed videos. I went in my garage, filmed videos. I went outside, was filming videos. And that's basically all I did in the first day. Usually what I do is like the first week of testing a new product, I usually post like three to five times a day. After the first week, I usually slow down and do like two a day. So yeah, day one, built the website, created the TikTok, created the Instagram, and filmed content. That's day one. So day two and three is basically the same thing. It's just posting TikToks, making more TikToks, filming more content. The day three is when I started stressing because usually TikTok, it takes a couple days to like warm up to the content. My videos were getting like 40 views, 50 views max. And I was tweaking, bro. I was like, what the fuck? Like, am I shadow banned? Am I fucking doing something wrong? So I'm not gonna lie, I was tweaking, bro. So I, I went to my last resort strategy, which is this right here. I'll throw a screen recording right here. But basically what I do for this strategy is I find an influencer in the niche I'm targeting. Some dude named Lex Little, he's like a popular gym influencer. So what I did is I went to his following on TikTok. I followed everybody that recently followed him. Follow, follow, follow. I went to his recent post and I was liking all the comments. That's more views, that's more eyes on the page. Maybe someone buys from that, you know? So that's like a last resort strategy, um, but it works, bro, because it gets more eyes, maybe more followers, maybe even a like. And that like can trickle on to other viewers seeing more likes in the post and then they like the post, you feel me? But then at the end of day three, we got our first sale, bro. Yo, yo, you see that shit, bro? First order. And just like that, we got the first sale on the third day, bro. We don't even have the link in bio yet. And we already got a sale, bro. So yeah, I got my first sale at the end of day three, around like 10 o'clock. It was only day three. I didn't even have the link in bio or anything, so I was like bet this is a product that could work out and then day four until like day nine or day eight is when i went to see the loan concert wearing the hoodie right now shout out loan bro but uh that's when i went to sack with my boy to see the loan concert so i'm not gonna lie i was not i was not doing any work over there bro i was just chilling i wasn't really doing that much work i was just posting tiktoks that i already had in my drafts but i still got a couple sales i think it was day five an order for two sales I'll throw the screen recording or the screenshot if I have it right here. I think I got two sales in my sleep and I just woke up the next day, fulfilled them and then went along with my day, bro. I wasn't really doing any work while I was in sack. I was just chilling. But I'm gonna show you guys a little update for today. This is, I got this sale in the morning, $28.88. It was first thing in the morning, right when I woke up, I fulfilled it. I think it's day five or six of the challenge. So far we have three orders but two of them have two of them have two items so two four five purchases so far on the website that's not bad i don't even have a thousand followers yet because i don't know why nobody's following the tiktok so i need to work on the content to get people to follow get more engagement but it's getting like it's getting people to buy obviously so it's probably coming from the instagram i'll keep updating you guys on this shit so that's five total orders it's day five five orders not bad you feel me and i think i generated that i think one to three more sales um, from day 9 to day 14 off of the screenshots right here It was already like day 10 of the challenge and I was like bro It's been over a week and I only have like a hundred followers on my tiktok account. This is the first time I've run a product um, And I haven't hit a thousand followers after a week Usually I hit a thousand followers like after the fifth day of testing a new product. So um, I was down bad. I was like bro. It was hella unmotivating and That's when I started realizing like this product is kind of ass bro. like it serves it serves absolutely no purpose i was trying to make more content and like trying to think of ideas of like what kind of tiktoks to make and i was like bro this shit is like it's hella useless i was like how do i even make content out of this i just came to check the total and i just got a sale today bro i didn't even realize it but i got a sale today for 12.99 but i'm not gonna count it in the challenge but you can see that like one sale for 12.99 minus this order i got a total of 119 dollars and 52 cents in 14 days, starting with $10, I went up to basically $120. As you can see, 423 sessions, 119 and 52 cents. I'm just gonna say right now, this was not successful whatsoever, bruh. But at the same time, it's not the biggest L. At the end of the day, we completed the challenge, bruh. I did it in under 14 days. I only spent $10 and I made money. 
especially if you're a beginner this should just show you how possible it is to make money in the space all it takes is posting two tiktoks a day you can make a little side money here and there bro this is just show you how easy and how possible it is to make money online bro like i literally spent ten dollars and i started making money like that in fucking three days bro i'm gonna count this as a w bro um we completed the challenge 14 days and we made we made some money yeah. at the end of the day this product is fucking ass i'm gonna stop running it whoever wants this go ahead and take it bro but yeah let's get back into the normal vlog video shit you feel me yeah let me put you guys on hella quick, bro. This dude, this dude go crazy. This girl go stupid. But anyways, right now I'm working on some shit. Do not. Don't, do not fucking look at that and be like, oh, that shit trash. Bro, I'm just fucking around with photo pee and shit like that right now. So relax. But I'm just like, uh, getting a feel for like how to make mock-ups and shit. Like, I don't really understand it. Like, but, uh, I wanted to show you guys real quick. I'm trying to think of like how I want my first hoodie, like how I want it to feel like. So I was thinking like this hoodie right here fits me hella good. Like just the way it fits me, like it kind of crops at the bottom and it's like, uh, the bottom kind of like wraps around your waist low key there's like there's no strings like i don't i don't fuck with the strings on hoodies i want my my first design to be puff printed i think this is screen print i don't know what this is but i want my first design to be puff print so this is what i'm like kind of deciding between like a lightweight hoodie like this you can see it's like it's like pretty lightweight or a heavyweight like this one i got this one from a loan concert it's heavy bro like this shit is heavy bro i don't know if i want a heavy hoodie like that you guys saw how that one fit right or I can get a lightweight one like this. These will probably be cheaper too, because if I get a hella heavy one like that, it'll be like hella expensive probably, you feel me? Or a hoodie like this, like, you can just tell it's like more lightweight, you feel me? It's just basic hoodie. I had this hoodie for like five years, it's still like good material. Or you guys can help me decide, like, would you guys fuck with like a, like a kind of lightweight hoodie like this with puff print right here? Or would you guys want like a heavy hoodie? Like this shit is heavy, bro. It'll probably be more expensive if I get a hoodie like this though. This is just like probably like a basic ass hoodie you can find on like H&M, but obviously my design will set it apart, you feel me? And then yeah, I'm gonna just keep designing, like messing around with this. I kind of fuck with this, kind of fuck with this. I don't really fuck with the font, but I kind of fuck with like drown my feelings with the money. And I want to turn this like heart into a Y. So it's like the shape of a heart, but it like turns into a Y, if that makes sense. I'm trying to figure out how to do shit like that. I would want it puff printed and then like a small logo right there that says like BSM, Blue Shirt Motives. Maybe something on the hood, but I don't want to do too much, you feel me? I want it to be basic. So yeah, I'm not really fucking with that right now. this dumbass job bro i need to fucking quit bro i haven't worked in like two weeks it felt so good bro i was having a good time at home doing my own shit now i gotta come back to this fucking dumbass fucking slave workshop bro this is a fucking plantation bro they literally grow slaves here never work at internet bro this shit is so fucking retarded Go trash, bro. Oh, there's someone right there. You about to die, boy. Shoot him. <laughs> All right, what's good? It's like it's like five o'clock now. Got back from work like an hour ago. But right now, I'm just film some product videos really quick because I'm bringing back a product from the dead, bro. See this shit right here? I'm bringing it back. All right. Basically, what happened was like, uh, obviously you can't like post shit like this on TikTok, bro. So I was like making hella TikToks. And every single fucking account I made kept getting banned. Basically, the first one, I got to like 10,000 followers. That one got banned. I got another one to like 8,000 followers. That one got banned. Basically, every every account after that that I made that had like the same name just kept getting banned. So I was like, bro, fuck this shit. So I'm gonna be so honest, bro. I was like, I got hella mad. I lost all the motivation. So I just stopped running the product. I was like, bro, fuck this shit. But then uh, when Black Friday came around, 
I all I did was made two TikToks, posted them on the Instagram, and on the IG they popped off. They probably got like over like thirty thousand views each. So on Black Friday I got hella sales, bro. Low key like IG might be might be the move. Like even if I, even if the TikToks keep getting banned and like deleted and shit, I can still pop off on IG and it can be like an IG product, you know. A lot of the videos I I post on IG are getting like a thousand views minimum, and most of them are getting like over twenty k views. If you go to the IG, it the IG also has like over 600 followers it's almost at a thousand so basically i'm gonna try to resurrect this shit from the dead bruh i'm gonna start filming more videos right now making more tiktoks i made a new tiktok account already at 2,000 followers you feel me hopefully i don't get banned and uh i'm gonna just start making more tiktoks bring this shit back from the dead bruh let's see how much we can make again also right now i just whipped up some some uh some last second slips for the nba games tonight um, not gonna lie, I've been on a losing streak, bro. I've lost like two hundred dollars in like the past fucking in the past week, I think. Um, it's not looking good. My account was at like four hundred dollars, and it's like back down to like twenty. I just put in some slips, so I'm down on my last five dollars right now, bro. So I need to hit these slips. I put a couple, like two man. I put like two or three six man slips, and I like those because if you hit all six, bro, that's like a five x return. Or no, I think it's more. I think it's. I don't know what it is. But last time I put in five dollars and I won 125. I'm not gonna lie, I fucking need these plays tonight or else I'm gonna just fucking delete prize pick. W orders, man. W orders. Boy, what the I just got like five orders within like two minutes right now. The smoky right now is like a video is about to hit like 50k on Instagram right now. I just literally got like three sales in like five minutes. My other product, today is one of the best days for this product. So I'm feeling good right now, bruh. I just got like five sales within like a couple minutes, bruh. So I'm about to fulfill all those right now. And then I'm gonna hop on Fortnite hella quick. And then I'm gonna work on the brand the rest of the night and edit the YouTube video. And that's all I got. But basically, I'm gonna end it right here. I'm gonna end you guys with one last song, bruh. This is like, I'm telling you guys, this dude is goaded, bruh. Way I just found him on TikTok like three days ago. Like, he's goaded, bro. But yeah, I'm gonna end the video right here, bro. Like, uh, comment something, turn the bells on, and subscribe. Yeah, I'm gone.